Ollie's is patterned after a set of stores in Boston area that are called uh, Warehouse 19. Mort Bernstein, who Ollie did not know at the time, owned two lumber yards in the city of Harrisburg, um, more than just the two, but those two were the ones that became the um, basic outline of the building for both Ollie's on the East Shore and the West Shore. One's on Carlisle Pike and the other one's on Jonestown Road. He was introduced by Harry Coverman, who was a dear friend of Ollie, and Harry and Ollie and Mort became the original partners for Ollie's Park and Outlet. And then Mark Butler was their um, buyer or the merchandiser, etc. Ollie, because of his unusual looks, as well as he was so very well known, I don't know whose original idea it was, but that's what happened. And they took caricatures of everybody, but Ollie's was the most unique, and then that's what ended up on the on the uh, marquee. And he loved it. He he looked forward to the, seeing the paper every week. And he became more famous than what he already was because of that. Ollie did not have anything to do with day to day. He had his own business. He had real estate. He was building, developing. Um, investing in, in people and in other businesses, it's in other partnerships. He would have been amazed, just amazed at the success. However, Ollie liked to do things close to the best, and he probably at some point would have preferred that they kept it within um, a pers more personal uh, level of, of the business. When Harry Coverman passed away first, then Ollie in 92, Ollie passed away in 96, and then when Mort passed away in the early 2000s, Mark had to do something to be able to buy that stock so that he could have some say in the company, which he certainly deserved after all the years of his service.